gotta pay the rent, but make sure you got some cash left over to go out. The East Village After Dark is where hipsters go to discover and seamsters go to be seen. So throw on some skinny jeans and a ripped t-shirt, cause it's time for barcode, EV style. Imagine sharing a beer with Abraham Lincoln and John Lennon. Well, at McSurley's old ale house, you could have. Old is the operative word here. It's been a watering hole, saloon, gentleman's bar and pub since opening in 1854, but it's practiced only one rule. Be good or be gone. The East Village is known for hole-in-the-wall dives, but Jazz Beast or Ruby hardly fits that bill. What it lacks in size, this lounge more than makes up for its swanky ambiance. Black and white photographs of blues legends and Hollywood icons deck the walls, while candlelit hues and red tone aesthetics give visitors plenty of room to enjoy their palate-pleasing drinks, like their blood orange Cosmo and Continental menu. The portobello spinach and creamy gorgonzola salad is heavenly, and the smoked bluefish panini is seriously a must. Richard, how long has Manitoba's been here in the East Village? We've been in business nine years. We're in our 10th year. I grew up in the Bronx. I came down with my friends on the train to go to the Fillmore East. And when I got old enough to get a place and settle down, this is where I wanted to be. It's a small bar. It is a local bar. It's also got an international reputation. What's your vision here? When I got to the point of being in the bar business, what I really cared about was this great rock and roll history that gave me the idea to go to all these rock photographers that I've known and make a pitch. How about a permanent museum quality punk rock exhibit on the walls, and here we have 80, 90, 100 pictures of uh, this wonderful history I come from. This is where my roots are. I belong to this neighborhood. This has been the East Village edition of Barcode. See you next time.